Okay, so now things are really hopping in our bin. I thought today would be a really good day to talk about the two different species of worms we have in our bin. Two different species of composting worms, Perionyx and Icenia, also called blues and reds. But I would love it if you'd use their real Latin names, Perionyx and Icenia. Anyway, let's take a look. Once again, it's perfectly okay for you to dip your hand in there and pull out some worms. So first I'm gonna take a little bit of the bedding for them to hide in and just set it there so they're not exposed to light. And also whenever you're handling worms, have a little bowl of water or um, I got my little mister with me so that we can keep them wet. They're okay being exposed to light for a short amount of time, but they're miserable if they get dry. So we wanna be sure whenever we have them out and we're looking at them, we're keeping them wet. So I'm going in the side of my bin that doesn't have food on it now. I'm gonna feed them later because I wanted to do this and I'm just gonna dig down deep in the bedding and reach in and see if I can pull out a few wormies. And look at that, I got some nice ones. So I'm gonna pick out a couple worms to look at and we're gonna take an up close and personal look at our composting worms. So grab a few and I think um, just by the law of randomness, you're gonna get both perionics and Icenia in your sample. Okay, we'll come back to this later. I'm gonna give them a good feeding and replenish my paper cover, but let's take a look at our worms. Let's go, we're gonna do some close-ups in the better light. Here we go, be right back. Okay, everybody, your assignment this week is to get up close and personal with your wormies, and I'd like to introduce you to Icenia fetida. We're gonna call, call it Icenia for short, it also has some common names like the red worm, tiger worm, red wiggler. And I will point out a few anatomical features, but what really is the dead giveaway is it's kind of lazy manner. You see how this worm is just kind of duh, not in any big hurry to go anywhere. Yeah, just kind of a slow poke. And you will notice that down the body is a little structure that pooches out a little bit. See it right there? That is called the clitellum. It is the structure that creates the egg case. And in Icenia, it's down the body quite a ways and it pooches out a little bit. Okay, so that's Icenia fetida. I'm gonna dig out another worm and squirt it to get some of the stuff off of it, make it a little bit more comfortable. And this is Perionyx excavatus. Now, when I notice right away, look at him go. These guys are far more zippity doo da, more type A personalities. Instead of a stout body build, they have a long, thin body build, and they're always in a hurry to go somewhere. You'll notice that the clitellum on this guy is closer to the head and it's just a little change in coloration. It doesn't pooch out. So I say that Icenia, the red worm, has a cummerbund and Perionyx, the blue worm, has a collar. Okay, so a collar on the blue, Perionyx, a cummerbund on the red, Icenia. So those anatomical features are your dead giveaway. But I can also just tell by their body language who is who. Can you tell? Duh, I'm not in any hurry. Get me out of here! So these guys are have different, well, not personalities, it really is physiology, and we'll, we'll discuss that a little later on. But you can really tell by body language who is who. So these are the two worms that are in your worm bin. Icenia, the red worm, and Perionyx, the blue. And they don't interbreed. They will stay pure to their species. They're a closed species. And they are reproducing right now. So next week, we'll talk about worm reproduction. So take a note of these clitellum structures. That's the structure that's gonna create the egg case. And we'll explain how that all happens. In the meantime, <laughs> Feed your worms, water them every day, refresh that paper cover, and
And next week, we'll take a look at how these worms make more baby worms. Look at, they're kind of making a little heart to say, thanks everybody. <laughs> they live happily together. <laughs>